Hey, Dr. Prince, you're up. So <laughs> we heard a little bit about um, who influenced you, right? It was your grandfather. Right. But I want to hear more about why you chose to work in medicine. Were there other factors? And at any point in medical school, did you ever think that you would be filmed for a Netflix series? <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> my, my brothers are here, and, and I think the VHS videos that we filmed uh, <laughs> were totally led into this. Of course. Me throwing a temper tantrum, you know. Uh, you know, I, my uh, grandfather, I, I mentioned a little bit, and, and I'm grateful to Adi and Ruthie for capturing more of the story, because I think, as Vicky said, um, we're, you know, we're each a page or a paragraph or a line in this human story. And uh, it's a story that's been, that started way before any one of us. Um, for many of us, it starts in other countries. Uh, there, there are all these dreams involved, our own dreams, dreams that are shattered, as, as we see. Um, and my, you know, my grandfather was a pediatrician who, in the middle of uh, being, uh, growing up in Cuba, a revolution forces him to leave Havana and go to uh, the University of Paris and get his second uh, round of medical school, as many physicians and folks who start in other countries retrain. Uh, he actually was here in New York for, uh, for a year uh, at a hospital that's no longer, no longer here, the polyclinic uh, uh, that used to be a few blocks from where we are for a year, uh, before being then a beloved pediatrician for 70 plus years in, in Kamaway, the city we're from. And I didn't grow up with him as, as many immigrants and exiles. Uh, I grew up on the stories of who he was and what he did and what it meant uh, to be a a physician and, and to help people. And I think for me that, um, that little seed gets planted inside and it grows and grows into a vocation and in a way of uh, finding how do you serve? How do you make a difference? How do we make this world better? And um, I, I found that in medicine, I found that in science, and uh, I, I found that in the people that I get to work with every day. And, and I'm, uh, I think if I would just add one thing at the end, it's really, um, I'm really grateful for the patients, and when you think about what we're all doing here together, uh, someone like Leslie is, to me, the real hero of something like this, to on the spot, in the midst of what she's going through and her son is going through, to agree to allow us to film that, uh, not knowing where things are gonna go, not knowing what showing it will mean for them, even now. And um, I think it's a sense of, of that, of that we get to be a part of these magical, miracle moments in life that matter and that you have a chance to make a difference. And for me, doing it for children means that hopefully, and Carrie is here, she's heard me say this, uh, you change a lifetime, right? And, and I think that's the tremendous privilege that comes with being, in particular, a pediatric provider. So thank you for the question. Thank you.